hello guys what's up and welcome back to the channel we are going to take a look at this hospital in accra ghana newly built the name is saint michael hospital in accra ghana now i want to react what gave birth to this video is a video i made about a nigerian man who was super shocked at the side of a hospital in ghana when he got to understand how the health insurance works in ghana so he made a video a long video that i stumbled on on youtube i reacted to it so by so doing a subscriber so you know a subscriber left me the link to this video that i want to react to now i said okay let me just go take a look i just look at it and move but i can't move i cannot move after clicking so i watched the video and i'm like god i beg go and i want to share with you guys so that you guys will see now my main reason for reacting to this video is not because i have not seen a hospital as big and beautiful like this one my main reason for reacting is that this hospital is made available for every human being in ghana rich poor middle class and of course name them what else do we have this hospital is made available for them all first off let's go take a look and i will be back to continue from here this is not an airport terminal it could be but it's not it's neither the ghana campus for a prestigious university anywhere in the world it could be but no it's not this is not a banking hall no so what else could this be? A luxury apartment? Um, what, 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 what could it be? Well, 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 you have your answers. Yes, St. Michael's Specialist Hospital. And where could it be found? Not in any of the prime areas in Accra. This is La Paz. Yeah, our own Abekan La Paz. Mm -hmm. Now that looks like the headquarters of your, your bank, right? Yeah, it could easily pass for it, but no, it's not. And so, welcome to this episode of. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to tell the facility. There's a young man here who will assist me get to know the place better. Come on, let's go. Now, this is what the exterior looks like with the drone shots, and I must comment, it's super beautiful. Now before we go into the interior of this hospital let's talk about the choice of location for the hospital why picked um la paz to build this hospital at when there is east legon cantonment an airport residential and of course the almighty trazaco where the rich and mighty base are based so why at least okay fine let's say this place should have just been better being at maybe spinters road I mean, so it can bring the gap between the mighty and high in the society and the not so rich in the society. No, 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 no. They moved this straight to La Paz and built it there because that is where it needed the most. I mean, these other places I have mentioned, majority of the residents there can afford even to fly outside of Ghana for treatment if they wish to. So why? you know take this luxury and go and hand over to them so they brought it and built it at la paz where a regular ghanaian is found where you can see a rich and not so rich ghanaian uh living at la paz so they brought it there it simply means that it doesn't have to be for the rich alone so you that is not so rich you can easily assess it and this is one thing that i really love about how things are done in ghana i don't know seriously i feel like maybe sometimes some people think i'm overhyping ghana it is not like that it's just the way i would have done my things if i have my way to do things like give it to someone that truly genuinely honestly need it not someone that already has and that you're adding to them someone that has a law i can show you love because you have so much and you have been kind to me i feel like i can show you love in other ways by making you feel special but i don't have to bring all i have and add to you because you have a law already this is why i can't resonate with so many policies in ghana the way of life in ghana i feel like in ghana 
that gap between the rich and the poor is so slim it's not that big of a deal where there's a vip for everything there's a that for that now let's go to the interior of the hospital and take a look at it and i will be back again let me see what shows because all these where we came from is uh -huh. the reception okay so that was the reception okay then we have the and the right to go yeah, they are patients of life. Okay, I don't want to show their face. Mm. So, so this is what we did. So that's the desk. This is a nurse station. Nurse station. Nurse station. So yes. when the patients come, this is where they come to first before they go to the area. So where else can we go? Okay. Let me see if one of the consulting rooms is free. So that okay, good, 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 good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know what it's giving? For me, it is giving like you're walking into a five-star hotel that you have previously booked via the internet. You're just walking to the receptionist at the reception to let them know that you are the one and you are here. That is if you didn't have to have them pick you up at the airport. So you, are, you came on your own and here you are explaining yourself. Oh, I'm this and that. I booked for a room and them attending to you like a VIP that you are. It is not giving a hospital vibe for me. Like for me, it is not giving the hospital sad, dirty looking, you know, a place of where people come to dump debts. It is giving a place of enjoyment. It's, this is like a five-star hotel in so many Africa countries. Now, fine, let's go back to the interior to continue touring uh, some part of the hospital. I'm to check to see if the consulting room is free. But there's the OPD. I can see people here. It's not chaotic at all, like very orderly, neat. Godwin, uh -huh. so why are you taking me? You still insist this is a hospital. I mean, I've seen the dental place, but I still don't believe it all. So this is our radiology department. Radiology department? Yes. So we have CT, we have x This is the waiting area for This is waiting area. So I'll send you to the... Hello. Hello. Are you all sure you are not in a hotel? You are no, not, yeah, not, you are not pretending you are in a hotel. You don't cut open your heart, oh. your, your chest. So right. they can use stents to yes. enter the place. Exactly. They use uh, catheters to pass through your veins to your towards your heart, and then they'll fix it over there for you. Bro, we ask you. So they, there's no need to cut open your huh? chest. So they do that through your nose or what? Your veins. Your veins, yeah. Your heart is. Charlie, my you crossing your bow? Yeah, so that is it. Incredible stuff. Go to Costa Market. Hey, and the Costa Market. Quite, 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 quite. Oh, similar. Yeah, that place is, is too, you know. Something like similar. Like that place, if you go, you won't want to go back home. So if you want a place that you want to still go home, this place. This place is fine for you. Oh, okay. You can have this one. Okay. Or better still. Hey, then this place they are preparing for hospital. Hey. Hey. You see you in this place is okay. Hey, guy, we for make money. Just so you had a cry, a flex. Have you ever shown me a flex? you guys it is given now see i have taken my kids to the polyclinics and the the missionary hospitals you know especially the catholic church hospitals in ghana and there's something my daughter always tell me my little girl tells me mommy i want to go to the hospital <laughs> anytime we go to polyclinic especially when they'll be running around she'll be roaming around i'll be chasing her like she forgets that she's here because she's sick no matter how tiny the place is they put it well together like they put it together they make it look nice because now human being go sleep inside not be animal and you're not a criminal now only sick you sick but this one is on another level now i get it when my daughter says let's go to the hospital now the truth is i'm not taking her to this hospital by the grace of god no matter what god help me so i don't take her there because this girl is going to keep falling sick and telling me mommy let's go to the hospital i mean if it's you this is like a five-star hotel now 
Another part I want us to take a look at before we end the video is the labor room. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, yeah, that place is, is too, you know. Like that place, if you go, you won't want to go back home. So if you want a place that you want to still go home, this place. This place is fine for you. Oh, okay. You can have this one. Okay. Oh. Hey, my God, I have to think that I have given birth twice in my country. The first time I gave, I gave birth at a private hospital. The second time I gave birth at the government-owned hospital. And in fact, <laughs> let's go back to the video first. I will complete it later. Kolebu <laughs> people. You, you're not showing respect to the Kolebu. We are patient-centered. Yes, so when you come here, your comfortability is assured. So that is what you want, that is what you want to prove. You want to give a certain standard of healthcare. Oh, that, 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 that. Yeah. Ah, just look at this. Look at that. Oh, no, go for. Go for cheese, but I'm going to be busy. I'm going to run here. We will need to see a little Show them. We do them. Hey, the bus is ready, eh? I keep looking. Now, I mean, the level of pain, I know that level of pain, eh? not to disrespect women and, uh, you know, all the women that have given birth, not to disrespect you guys or not to disrespect us as mothers. But the truth is, eh, if you go to this hospital, this particular room like this, and you are supposed to give birth there, do you know that the pain will be less? Yeah, 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 the pain will be less. I mean, like, it's going to help you concentrate on, you know, the pain alone you don't have to be worried about the infection and all that i hope that this video meets you well and i will see you in my next one bye